Hey, what we're looking at uh, this evening is a uh, b and K model 1805, 80 megahertz uh, frequency counter. It's uh, obviously in working condition, and I am currently at the moment displaying an 81.1111 megahertz signal uh, that's being generated by this PTS-160 frequency synthesizer. Um, synthesizer is a very accurate frequency source, and um, and we are reading right now the, uh, the desired frequency from the generator. And as I uh, step the uh, synthesizer down, we're going to watch the reaction of the counter. We're 70, 60, 50, 40. 30, 20, 10. So we've got 11.1111, and we did it. Uh, we went all the way down from 81.1111 in 10 megahertz steps, and we have a, an accurate response. So that in itself uh, is interesting, but uh, uh, but not uh, you know too special. But what is special is that uh, I'm going to make this counter available for uh, under fifty dollars. In fact, I'm going to start the bidding at uh, at thirty-five. See where it goes. So, uh, if you're in the market for uh, for an accurate uh, bench counter, uh, but you don't want to spend an arm and a leg, and your needs are such that eighty megahertz will uh, will meet it then maybe this is the, uh, the item you should be looking at. Uh, cases uh, is nice looking. The front panel is clean. Um, the handle was damaged at one point in uh, shipment. I have super glued the handle back together so we are we're able to use it right now as a stand, but you can see where the crack was. Actually, it was broken here and it was broken up in here, but, uh, but it's working fine now. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't try to uh, handle it too uh, too harshly, just because of that. But uh, as you can see, it's working. And the other thing uh, is that the original B and K used a um, Used a cord uh, that was detachable, but had a had a three pin hole type uh, setup that was unusual. It's an antique kind of a cord. It's very difficult to get. In fact, the cords were running thirty dollars. So I decided to go ahead and uh, and attach a cord internally. Um, I've got it knotted up in the back so it can't be pulled through the hole. Um, and uh, it's permanent attachment now. You can still service the unit by uh, unscrewing the back and sliding it along the uh, the cord to expose the interior. And uh, although there really isn't much uh, much reason, it's working fine. And there is an access hole uh, underneath the unit that would allow you to calibrate the frequency if ever needed. So there you go. Uh, Nice little unit for uh, general purpose work. Uh, uh, it's working quite well. Um, oh, the we can go in kilohertz, megahertz. We can measure period. We can total the counts, so like an event counter. Um, we can uh, change the inter interval uh, for update. If you activate the, uh, the resolution switch uh, for maximum resolution, it's going to take about 10 seconds to update. So about once every 10 seconds you get an update and uh, you will display right down to the hertz. If you uh, put it in the one position, then every second you'll update. Uh, here you'll update 10 times a second and then this the maximum would be... Uh, an update of a hundred times a second. 
but as you do that then you're going to lose resolution so you can get a, a, a very quick uh, reacting display a hundred times a second but um, you're going to get a five digit display so 80 megahertz would read 80.000 and be updated a hundred times a second or at the maximum then we could get uh, 80 uh, megahertz displayed in eight digits uh, but we'd have to wait for an update every 10 seconds typical for uh, for all counters but uh, wanted to be able to explain that we have a reset button for uh, for the totalize function or you could reset the frequency and then wait for it to count again so we'd wind up waiting 10 seconds and we'll see this thing pop back on um, the hold switch uh, we can hold the display by hitting that button we see we just updated we have a filter switch to filter noise coming in and then we have an attenuator switch that allows us to handle uh, higher value signals and uh, that would be about it um, beautiful unit happy bidding